For RCR Wireless News, my name is Sean Kinney and we're here at Mobile World Congress with Ashok Sethu of Keysight Nemo Wireless Network Solutions. Ashok, you all made a number of exciting announcements during Mobile World Congress and yes. I was hoping you could just share some of those with us, please. Yes, so we've made two major announcements from this particular product line. Uh, it's actually the uh, Nemo Cloud and the Nemo uh, Geospatial Intelligence module that we have uh, added to our Nemo Zenergy platform. And today I'll be talking about the Nemo Zenergy uh, Geospatial Intelligence module that, that we have introduced. So with this new solution, can you tell us about who some of the customers that this is ideal fit for are? So our, our products are ideally fit for operators, you know, and they use our product to actually um, <coughs> manage the network performance and the user experience of, uh, of their users, who are the customers using all the mobile services. And we also, um, <coughs> our customers are also the equipment providers, such as the uh, Ericsson's and Huawei's and Nokia's of the world, who would actually be act uh, helping uh, these operators you know, run their network, so they will also be a big customer of ours. Yes. Ashok, help me understand the business value that your customers can derive from this new solution. So the business value in our solution is that it's a multi-data, it's a multi-data source platform. So the idea, the, the the fact is that there are many different data sources that help the customer or the operators understand the full user experience, and by having all those in one platform, they really can use the synergies between these different data sources to actually derive more value than any one of these data sources on their own. So by having this combined platform where we've added now the geospatial intelligence to it as well, not only are they able to be able to combine these data sources and get more value out of the analytics, they can also geolocate them so that they will actually see where in these users are experiencing the problems and that adds a significant value to the ability to actually improve the quality of the experience. Ashok, help me understand some of the different deployment models that your customers can use. Yes. So this can be deployed in a number of ways. Uh, it can be deployed on site because these are enterprise systems, so they really uh, involve several servers that need to be deployed. They can be deployed on site if the customer chooses to do so. We also have a cloud offering where they can just get it as a software as a service. So they just get a monthly fee and then they can log on to the service and get all of the analytics that they want through that, uh, that deployment model as well. As your operator partners really try to capture this data and derive insight from it, how does this fit in in the context of 5G and the Internet of Things? Yes, so it fits in really well. Um, you know, we are part of uh, Keysight, and uh, Keysight actually has a, a technology that can actually, uh, we're already working on technology to get 5G uh, data and 5G signals from, from the uh, early releases and the pre-5G versions of the standard. And that already is integrated with our Zenergy platform. So we actually have a very early platform where we're able to gather all of the communications coming in from, a, from an antenna, from an from a E-Node B that's containing 5G signals and being able to feed that into our analytics platform and being able to get the user experience. And that's going to be one of the um, early questions that a lot of the 5G early networks they're going to be asking is in, in addition to being able to deploy it, what is the user experience that, you know, that my 5G users out there are experiencing and the 5G devices out there are experiencing? And we have the means with this, uh, with this platform to be able to derive at a user level uh, what that experience is. And I think this is a really salient point, Ashok, because we are aware of the target 5G use cases, and they're complicated. Yes. So really tracking a, that user experience at a granular level will be challenging for your operator partners. It will be challenging, and it's, uh, you know, in the early, um, the early systems, that information is going to be hard to come by. So by having the technology to be able to both derive that, uh, that signal and be able to feed that in, in a way, right, with all the engineering detail, at the same time having a presentation view where you can actually get to the user experience, it, it is going to be a very valuable um, addition to the ecosystem to be able to really deploy successfully the 5G systems worldwide. Well, Shock, I appreciate you taking the time during Mobile World Congress to share Keysight Nemo's perspective on this. Excellent. Thank you very much for the, for the time. Yeah.